I just felt very removed from people and didn't want to be around anyone and became very possessive of my child and just felt that th it was a difficult, almost impossible task to even keep the child alive. Consider this scenario. Three weeks after a woman gives birth to a baby, her first child, she flings both herself and the baby out of the fifth floor of a building. Both mother and child die. Why did she do it? It could be diagnosed as postpartum neurosis. Psychiatrists and gynecologists say the physiological and hormonal changes of pregnancy, delivery and breastfeeding dispose a woman to mental illness. There are major abnormalities occurring or mental disorders occurring in pregnancy and related to pregnancy and related to a hormonal problem, high estrogen and high progesterone levels. And therefore one has to accept the fact that pregnancy in itself does play an important role in people becoming extremely depressed and, uh, and having psychotic and, and, and manic problems after delivery. Postpartum illnesses are neurotic, which can mean depression and anxiety, psychotic, which is delusion, loss of a sense of reality, and manic, which is total madness. We have had um, tremendous problems with patients who have attempted to commit suicide even in hospital and have uh, attempted to destroy their babies and we have had to immediately uh, bring the psychi psychiatrist on in, this, in, in these situations and ask for psychiatric help. I didn't even feel my body anymore. I didn't even feel I existed. I had completely lost my sense of taste. I gained um, 70 pounds because I felt tired and I felt I couldn't taste anything and I just kept eating. And A combination of drugs and psychotherapy are used to treat the patient. Although every woman can get baby blues after giving birth, more serious illnesses are triggered by hard times or a history of depression. Most of these mothers are left a single parent. And the fear of, having, or fear of becoming a single parent and the fear of taking care of this child by herself, possibly without any family support, and of course without any Paternal support, it is very, very real and it is a frightening thing to our expectant mother. I had a lot of sleepless nights. Uh, Sometimes like it gets too much and cry, you know, crying. Unfortunately enough, not enough people around women who suffer from postpartum depression realize what these symptoms are. Women have murdered in the state and the law provides for this. Section 63 of the Criminal Procedure Act says the balance of her mind was disturbed by reason of her not fully having recovered from the effect of giving birth to the child or by reason of the effect of lactation. If this condition is proved, these women are charged for infanticide and are put on a bond of good behavior. These are some signs of postpartum illness, lethargy, exhaustion, passivity, insomnia, crying spells, sleeping too much, wanting to be alone, rejecting the baby, aggression, eating disorders. And these patients need a lot of help. So how do we help these women? It should no doubt take the form of a drive to recognize and treat postpartum neurosis, an illness most women don't even know they have. Ira Marthor, CCN News, with a special report.